For our next activity, you, to be able to break the line of the fence utilizing our midfield, what we're going to try to do is simulate the middle third, and they're going to play in this big area here. We're going to give them about 45 yards. So what I want to try to do, since we play with one attacking and two holding in the midfield, we're going to simulate the little triangle there. But then what we're also going to do is we're going to simulate two outside backs and put them in this position so that we have five players. From there, what we will do is we will have our three forwards. Now at center, what we try to do is we try to off-balance the field by having two of our forwards always joining each other. So what we'll always try to do is if the ball is on this side, we will try to join up with two players there. It's important that you know that because that's something that we will be working with during this drill. But for now, I'm just going to put them on the board spread apart for the drill. What we'll do is we'll add three defenders in this middle third and we'll add one defender here. To start the drill, we'll have our goalkeeper and we always want to try starting with the goalkeeper because we want her to have and work with her leg strength. She'll start it by playing a long ball. X's get a free touch on it. This is encouraging for a holding center mids because that's something that we like to do is to control all 50-50 balls. And if we can settle it, then we're already at an advantage. Once the ball is dropped to the player here, now it's five players working against three players. We will then try to find a nice interior ball into this space here. Our X's cannot leave this grid. It's about 15 yards. They have to stay in this area. Again, with the same concept, we're trying to find that space behind here, the for sale space. So the drill will work with keeping the possession of the ball until a nice run is made or ball is played where we can get the player in. Once we finally get to that point, we'll allow one other player to get in to frame the box to go and score. So basically what you have is five versus three in the middle third, three versus one in the attacking third, and then just your goalkeeper.